So let's move through the Sunday slate. It is a good one. It's a fun slate all around. Mm-hmm. And let's kick it off. The picks I circled in on, I like the Browns at the Jags. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, this is a vacation game for, for Cleveland. Uh, they get to play in some heat instead of rainy Cleveland for the last three weeks. Um, everyone is playing inspired football and... Uh, yeah, I think they they just kind of roll. They 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 watch what the Steelers did and just like, okay, let's we can do that better, and let's roll. Yeah. So the Browns actually, I like them in this game. There's no Miles Garrett, but they need this win. Right, and I that's a great point too because it shows like, okay, we can win this game without Miles. We of course yes, we want Miles out there, but if we have a confidence in that young D line that they can do it. Gosh darn it, they're going to do it. I'll tell you what. Yeah, and they're 7-3. and three. Their next two games are against the Titans and Ravens, their biggest competition for those 7th or maybe 8th wild card <laughs> spots. Who knows? Yeah. All I know is that wild card round is going to be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, no, and you, they, this is a very needed game just so um, they can get ahead possibly with the uh, – if the Ravens lose to, you know, the Steelers, like, hey, we, that's a leg up. You know, I, I, we kind of need that. Um, but, yeah, I think I think everyone's doing, and it is very exciting. I saw a lot of great things from Baker uh, uh, on Sunday. Um, he's using that bootleg right. He, he's, he's doing things with his hands. He's uh, having rap lyrics and his press conferences. He is feeling it. And this is exactly what you want from Baker. You want him playing good, but not good enough to justify a $35 million a year contract. I, yeah, I know. <laughs> What's the number? What oh, do you want Baker to get? Um, I'm going to give him like four years, 90. I was going to say 488. Yeah. So we're right there. Yeah, yeah. That's his value. And like just by virtue of you playing quarterback, it can't be, you can't just automatically get 30 million. Some of you guys, you're above average starters. Baker Mayfield with Stefanski, above average starter. Above average starter. And that's fine. And give him, you know, give him his due for uh, going through multiple coordinators and coaches and finally finding that way to gel, not throwing interceptions. He almost threw a couple interceptions at the beginning of that game. But, hey, you know, everyone's got the, you got to just throw it out. You just got to throw it out there. Carson doesn't know how to throw, but that's, you know. Yeah, it's a big spread. I mean, six and a half on the road is a lot to cover. It's a lot. It's a lot. And if they just control with the running game, uh, because if this is how they're doing it, if if Kevin, this is how how he – what I saw, it was first first quarter, uh, third quarter was Kareem Hunt's, and then you have you have Nick Chubb and just getting the bulk of the carries in that uh, the second quarter and the fourth, and you're just doing this LeBron uh, with Nick Chubb just closing it out. If this is right, you get everyone involved and getting great carries, so then you're just going to get another 100 rushing from both of those guys. Yeah, and I think you might see him open it up in terms, because you they have Tennessee the next week, mm-hmm. so I think if they play more vertical and downfield, yeah. if they look like an attacking offense, that's going to throw Tennessee off their scent a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what uh, Baker and Kevin did on Sunday. They were throwing, I mean, it was raining the whole time, but they still kept throwing the ball down the field. And you do that, and you're like, oh, okay, shit, we can't, <laughs> we got those guys, we got to cover those guys. Someone's open. So it, keep it up and, you know, getting that tight end. Um, I mean, with Wyatt Teller back as as the right guard, it just changes everything. So all pro, yeah, for first team all pro, crazy all the way, yeah. So yeah, I think you just try and really run up the score on the Jags in terms of kind of putting a little doubt in Tennessee's mind about how you're going to play that game because that's probably the biggest Browns game of the past five years. Yes, yeah. Like I, I'm going to pencil in the loss the next week at the Ravens, but. Well, yeah, I mean, we, we always play them, but I think the Titans really just shows heart because they play hard-nosed football, and to, it's it's a really great test for, for Kevin, yeah, for like a really good team. Yeah, and like maybe their offense is the best unit in that whole game, but mm-hmm. Browns are so much more balanced. Their defense is so much better than Tennessee's. Yeah, yeah. 
And if they're dropping back, you're going to go get that Tannehill. We're getting it. We're getting them. You're going to get Miles Garrett right, nice and fresh, coming back right. for Ryan Tannehill. And, okay, Chargers at Bills, minus five and a half. Chargers at Bills. Bills coming fresh. Bills coming fresh. Chargers, they gave up a backdoor cover to the Jets. Oh, God. You got to like the stay away here, huh? This is, this is a stay away. Yeah, I mean, these are the two craziest teams in the league this year. Yeah. They both put up points. I think there's similar talent levels, except Buffalo's got a great coach. Chargers have a terrible one. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he he got lucky a little bit, but uh, yeah, I think this is an easy. Uh, what's the what's the line for the Bills? Five and a half. Okay, all right. So a little tough one. Little, it, has, it feels like a stay away. That's the stay away. And this is just a game to watch and have fun. See if see uh, Justin Herbert uh, go for five hundred yards. Yeah, and like I don't know why you are betting on this game when there's so many better options on the slate here. Yeah, yeah. Because there's a lot to like in these early slates. There's a few stayaways. I'm gonna bring up the other stayaway right here. That's Cardinals minus two and a half at the Patriots. That's a really hard game that, to predict. That that line's gonna move though. I think it's gonna move to the advantage of the of the Cardinals. I think so, too. They're already favored, but yeah. here's the thing. Yeah. The Lions, they're one of the worst defenses in the NFL. For sure. But they played Arizona really well defensively, mm -hmm. and that was in large part because of the scheme. They kept Kyler in the pocket. Right, right. And they forced him to make downfield throws. We took our defense from New England. Mm -hmm. They're going to have the same scheme with one or two adjustments. Yeah. So I would really examine New England here if I was going to wager it. But New England, they're hurt. They're having the season from hell. They could have <laughs> lost a lot of games. Yeah. But here, if I'm going to bet this, I'm going to stay away from this. I'm going to look at that over under of 49. <laughs> okay. I, I mean, like that. I like that under. Because I don't, I, don't I don't think Cam's got it. Anymore. <laughs> yeah, and I, I don't. I think <laughs> so the bad. Patriots are going to make this a pretty slow moving game. Call it the molasses bowl. That is the molasses bowl. I mean, you have to think about it too, because you're you're saying that um, the Patriots, you know, come from you, you know the Detroit comes from that Patriots defense, um, but you're going to have it. We're like, how did how did they slow down Kyler? That's what that's what the that's what um, that's what the Cardinals are going to say, and if they can still do that with. Cam, because you know Cam's going to run, so let's keep him in the pocket and have your, you know, have Damon Bird beat me, you know, and he probably will, but I think just longevity-wise, I think this is just the long game for, for the Cardinals and just to win this one easy. Yeah, maybe not easy, but I think I think they, yeah. I'm staying away. Okay. I, I don't even want to develop an opinion of this just because the scheme weighs so much on stay me. Stay away, stay away, stay away. There was a great and there were a lot of great Enya mashups on Napster. <laughs> I wish they were still around. We lost those with the Metallica lawsuit. Bring Dang, them back, thanks Lars. Thanks a lot, Lars. <laughs> uh, there's no line on this one because there's a COVID situation. Yeah. But I'll be taking the Vikings hosting the Panthers. Panthers, they looked a little bit too good last week. Mm -hmm. I mean, really, no left tackle, no quarterback, no number one option in the offense. They were fine. PJ looked great. Did he look great? Because he threw two t two interceptions in the end zone that were yeah. bad. They were bad, but that's I I feel like that's a someone uh, a a young QB problem where uh, I like I got I can throw it in there. You know, you you play so well, and you're like I can fool these people. You know, I think that's I think those are uh, easy mistakes to take care of. Because he threw it pretty well. It's just when you're down there, you know, you just want to be like, "Ooh, I'm I'm the second string. This is I'm I'm, I'm from the XFL. I need to show people that I can play." So you just want to be like, "Ah, I was like, damn it, you got to be all right. That's fine." But we're still up. But because that last that last interception like really didn't matter, you know? Yeah, and like one of those interceptions, he there were five five lions <laughs> right where he threw yeah. it. 
<laughs> no, no. You think you just you can do some magic? You know, you can put a little put a little uh, mustard on that ball, and he's like, he brings it down. But you know, you gotta learn. You gotta learn. Yeah, and I, I still think the Vikings are a good team. I think they're potentially the best team in the NFC if yes. they get the right matchups. Yeah, they just Dallas came to play yesterday. They're, yeah, no, they didn't let up. That was the thing. Yeah, that was good. It so, was great. So yeah, this line will probably be less than a touchdown because of how they looked last week. Yeah. I'm going to be backing the Vikings here no matter what it is. Less oh, than seven, yeah. I'm, I'm on them. I mean, I'm always, hey, oh, Delphin Cook playing? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm backing you. I don't care. Again, you can't tell a thing about the Panthers because of how inept the Lions were. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, Brian Burns was having a game, but also that could be just the ineptness of the... Yeah. Of the Lions. But. Yeah, I mean, the ineptus of the Lions. We picked Hawk over him. <laughs> <laughs> and this one, I really like Titans at Colts. Colts are favored by three and a half. Titans at the Colts. Ooh, Colts are coming off some hotness. Yeah, Colts are too hot. Yeah. Titans, are. they have a great win. You know, Philip Rivers infuriates me because he just, I, I'm always thinking, okay, you're you're done, right? But Never. then he just he oh, he just has it. He just has this thing in him. He you know, and I think it's just when he has have, when he's going against like good quarterbacks, he wants to still show that he has it. I think it's just Frank Reich. Frank, he, he, yeah. well, Frank's amazing. You Frank mean, draws up the right plays yeah. for him. He, it's a different team. Yeah, but these guys just saw each other in that game. Tennessee was in pretty firm control of it till we they got a couple blocked punts. Yeah. Yeah. Till things got a little wonky in the second half. And these teams, they know how hard the AFC wildcard race is. Yeah. Yeah. They're gonna this is gonna be very close. If it's more than a field goal line, I'm gonna take the Titans getting that half. Yeah, they always are very squeaky about that about that field goal. Yeah. Uh that's they, gonna be an easy one. This is the the rule of three and a half, so I will say I'm breaking mm-hmm. it, but Yes, you are. You know, you know better. You know you can't do that three point back. Yeah, but divisional game. They just played. There's a lot of familiarity yeah. here. That tells me it, it is going to be tight. Yeah. Yeah. Some home cooking. Yeah. Okay. And this, I cannot believe. I cannot believe. Gi- I'm going to be betting on the Giants this week. You better bet on the Giants. They're coming up. They're going to win this division. They're going to win that division. What are their divisional odds, actually? I'm going to put Ooh, that's that a good, up really I, I would put that up. I'll uh, put okay. a couple units on that guy. Yeah, we that's that's definitely sprinkle worthy actually. Okay, Giants plus three twenty five to win that division, and I don't know if they win this against the Bengals this weekend, and they will win against the Bengals. They right? should. They're four and seven, which <laughs> I guess puts them in the driver's seat. Oh no! Please don't say it. You know, they know there's no reason they need to be in any driver's seat at all, but they will be. Yeah, cause, okay. Yeah, I guess we're just going to blindly back the Giants here because they've gotten a little bit better every week. Defense is showing up. They're so coming pretty off excited a about bye. That. They got, had a fight between their offensive line coach and their head coach. Hearsay. Oh, allegedly. Hearsay. They definitely fought. They fought. They yeah. Got, he got punched in the face. Judges are always sealing records. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, yeah, I, I cannot believe how much I'm going to be backing the Giants. But yeah, You're going you to love it. You're going to love it. Uh, Raiders minus three at Falcons. Ooh. Mm. This is a dangerous one. Man, I feel like this is a stay away. But. This is a sk- Or is it maybe you want to back the Falcons here? How, mm, yeah. Ooh, man, this is a tough one. Because the Raiders, you know, they, they hung in there. but they, they just got Patrick Mahomes. So there's really... You know, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, and like people aren't excited about the Chiefs because the Chiefs just know they can beat you. I think it's e- so garbage. The, the the Chiefs are easy to beat. I know it. They all someone just needs to stand uh, from defense perspective for for Patrick Mahomes. Just someone stand in in center field because he wants to throw it in the middle. That's he loves to do that. So if you throw that situation off so that's how you're deep throw that's where that's where kelsey's going to be and let them just dump it off great i think you, you i think you just make them do these little chunk plays you know these little dink and dunks 
then it just take the deep ball away from but him. But their their offensive scheme is so good because they're running everything outside. I Either know. all their runs are off tackle. Mahomes is always rolling out. There's a fluidity with that offense. It's hard to beat. And like Eli was talking about last Wednesday about the Clemson team from a few years ago that won every game by three or four points. Like the Chiefs are looking at that clock the whole time. I know. I mean, just put a spy on this guy. Put a middle linebacker in the middle and like go beat me somewhere else. Like, I don't care. Yeah, they don't care about the cover. They don't care about running up the score at all. And, you know, Raiders, they hung tough. But I think the Chiefs, they're always kind of just figuring out how to get the ball last. And those yeah. the great – the. T- Teams with great quarterbacks like the Packers, the Chiefs, the Seahawks, they're allowed to kind of formulate their game plans with a little bit more creativity, Yeah, knowing that if they get the ball last, they're going to win. So easy. God. Yeah, so I don't know how we got on that tangent, but um, <laughs> this um, is our breakdown of the Raiders and Falcons. <laughs> um, I'm uh, Falcons are what? What do they got? Falcons are crappy. Yeah. Yeah, just like, who was it? Three, seven. Where are we at? The Falcons, they are. Thanks, Google. Thanks Google a lot, Sports. Google. But I think they. Falcons are three and seven. But okay. it's a. Raheem Morris has been actually kind of decent. And they looked worse than anticipated against the Saints last week because what ta- putting in Taysom does is there's no book on how it's going to look. Ma'am, ma'am. But just so oh, nine points, two interceptions by Matt. I, uh, yeah. Oh, oh, nice Todd Gurley. Let's go eight for twenty six. Okay, that's reputable. Okay, so yeah, I'm definitely be be afraid if you're the Raiders here. This is the game where you fuck this up. You're out of the playoff hunt. They ran over the Saints. Ran over the Falcons. One hundred fifty yards by. Like three other people. Uh, that's that's not good. That's not good. It's not good. Next one, Niners at Rams. We didn't learn anything. We're recording Monday. We <laughs> haven't seen the Rams. Yeah. Uh, we have not seen the Niners this week. I don't care about the Niners, man. I don't care about the Niners. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, they're hey, great. Love them. But not this year. So it's one of those Rams. That's a rollover. Yes, divisional game. But I think that, I think the Rams roll. Yeah, so if the Rams, I'm inclined to bet on them here if they lose tonight. I think they will lose tonight against Tampa Bay. Yeah? No left tackle, going against a decent pass rush. Right. Uh, If you throw Goff off a little bit, you throw Goff off a lot. True, true. So, yeah, I think the Rams with the bounce back here is the play I would go. We covered Cardinals, Patriots, Saints, minus four and a half at the Broncos. I like the Saints here. Yeah. They're... The Saints are in mid-season form, as you would say, uh, and I think they're they're just going to keep on going. They know what they've, they've. It's not they didn't they're not losing a step with Drew Brees. Yes, he can throw the ball great, but it's not, it's not like a big drop off. Is there a chance we never see Drew Brees again? I mean, all of his bones are broken. Eleven right? broken ribs. Yeah. So and. We're expecting this guy to be fully healed in six weeks for a postseason game. No, and my man had a collapsed lung. That's not that's not easy. Yeah, that's maybe a three week recovery if you're a twenty two year old guy. <laughs> but Drew Brees, you're on the north side of forty. If they re- and the thing is, they're they, they're going to have to make the choice between doing what's best for their franchise or doing what's best for Drew. They've shown an inability to make the right choice in those situations. Yeah, and do you really feel confident if you roll out Drew and he takes one hit? No. You think those bones are gonna be good? I don't. I just no. don't think so. I, you know, they're like, well, he's wearing Kevlar. He'll be okay. It's like, no. So he's gonna stop bullets? They're like, no, my friend. And I kind of think they're gonna force Drew Brees back. It's gonna just kind of change the variable there because yeah. really the star of the Saints is that defense and Alvin Kamara. And Alvin Kamara, but um, yeah, I just see a real potential danger coming down the pike right as the postseason starts up for them. Yeah, no, just keep, stay the course. Sorry, sorry, Drew. Yeah, and I I just think Denver, 
we saw their best ball yesterday. I think it's going to be hard for them to do that two weeks in a row. No, no, they're they are they're not winning a Mister Consistent uh, award anywhere. So no, Drew Lock is not moving that ball against the Saints defense. They gonna they're gonna win this one twenty four to ten. I can see that. Yeah. yeah, a lot of garbage, a lot of garbage yards from Drew uh, from Drew Lock. I'm feeling it. Yeah, garbage time, and then Packers at Bears. Packers eight and a half point favorites. This line is too big. Mitch is Mitch coming back? We is... don't know because all the Bears quarterbacks are hurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, Foles is hurt. Mitch is hurt. You might have you Tyler. <sighs> wow, he he might be the the best quarterback from the University of Tennessee we've seen in the NFL in ten years. But, well, wow. Wow. That was just a crack on how bad Peyton was during it, those Broncos Super Bowl years. <laughs> he was, he's not that bad. That's that's rude. That okay, is very sorry. Rude. Let me rephrase. He's the best Tennessee quarterback at looking to the left. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. That's a good stat. Yeah. 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 This line, uh, kind of scary. I would probably gun to my head. Take the Packers coming off a loss where they played pretty well. Yeah. No, they played pretty well and. Um, Aaron is always good for a bounce back. Go for go for 80 points by himself. So, yeah. Yeah, there. And then Seahawks at Eagles on Monday night. Seahawks are five and a half point favorites coming off a bye. No, sorry. They played Thursday. Go on. Yeah. It's easy. That's five an and easy. a half, though. On the road. Cross country. Yeah, depending on weather. I'm saying just depending on weather. You know, I'm, I'm probably taking the Eagles and the points and thinking they'll lose. Whoa! What backdoor cover? With the backdoor cover. Backdoor cover for the Eagles all day. Mm, but um, you know the thing is, Joel uh, Carson Wentz is very bad at football right now. But he's playing a. Well, I mean, I guess the Seahawks secondary came to life the second half yes. last last yeah. week against Arizona. Yeah. But if it's clicking, maybe I don't know. Maybe that we're if we're doing that Denver thing of like consistency. Uh, you know, you finally get Jamal Adams back. I don't know what percentage he's like eighty percent or whatever. If that's that's great. Uh, if Carlos Dunlap is getting his sea legs, <laughs> Seahawks, um, Osprey, Osprey, <laughs> Osprey <legs. laughs> he's getting his Osprey legs. We learn this. <laughs> we know animals. Um, then I think you got a fun Seahawks defense because I think that's what they want. They want to see their defense finally click back to back. And if that happens, watch out. Watch out, world, because the Seahawks are back. Yeah, and it's quite possible that this line will move up to seven by that Monday night. Mm -hmm. It's five and a half now. And this is going to be the first time that the Eagles will look around the division and see, oh, shit. Other teams are actually trying to win this division because you know someone technically has to win that Washington Dallas game, yeah. unless it's a tie, <laughs> which is why Philly's going to win the division. And you know, I think the Giants are going to win, so there's going to be a lot of pressure on them that's going to bring out the best Eagle performance. So if you yeah. look at the external factors as well as the terrible performance against your Browns yesterday, yeah, you might see, you might expect them to you, keep it close. Yeah, and they. They played well against the Browns. It was just, you know, just a couple bad plays as usual. Um, so you got a healthy Miles Sanders, and, you know, it, it could – you never know. You never know. But um, Philly might might come out and be very angry. Yeah, I, I, I like Philly here. Yeah. I like Philly with the pressure. They're going to respond. It's true. They need to. They're going to have to, yeah. unless Washington and Dallas tie, in which case, take the Seahawks. <laughs> 